Index Arithmetic, Example 1. In this example, we're given 2 as a primitive root mod 11 and asked to fill in the table of indices mod 11 and then use it to solve the congruence given there. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the powers of 2 mod 11. So 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the 4th is 16, which reduces to 5, mod 11. 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 to the 4th, so 2 times 5 is 10. 2 to the 6th is going to be 2 times that 10, 20, which reduces to 9. 2 to the 7th is going to be 2 times 2 to the 6th, so 2 times 9, 18, which reduces to 7, mod 11. 2 to the 8th is congruent to 2 times 2 to the 7th, 14, reducing to 3, mod 11. 2 to the 9th is 2 times 3, or 6, mod 11. And 2 to the 10th is 2 times 6, which is 12, reducing to 1, mod 11. So now we can fill in the table of indices. So keep in mind, the index of a number is the power that you need to raise 2 to get, to get that value. So when I want to find the index of 1, I see that I have to raise 2 to the 10th power to get 1. So the index of 1 is 10. I want the index of 2. I see I have to raise 2 to the 1 power to get 2. The index of 3 is the power 8. The index of 4 is 2. The index of 5 is 4. The index of 6 is 9. Since its power had to raise 2, 2 to get 6. The index of 7 is 7. And the index of 8 is 3. The index of 9 is 6. And the index of 10, finally, is the power 5. Okay, now we want to use that table of indices to solve the congruence we were given. So the congruence we want to solve is 2x to the 7th congruent to 5 mod 11. First thing we're going to do is take the index of both sides. And remember the mod turns to phi of 11 or 10. We'll use the properties of indices to simplify. So we get the index of 2 plus 7 times the index of x is congruent to the index of 5. And the index of 2 is 1 from the table. And we've got 7 times the index of x is congruent to the index of 5, which is 4, mod 10. We're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So we get 7 times the index of x is equal to 3, congruent to 3 mod 10. Last thing we need to do is calculate the inverse of 7 mod 10. So we know 1 is congruent to 11 and 21, which is 7 times 3 mod 10. So 3 is the inverse of 7. I'm going to multiply both sides of that congruence by 3 and we get the index of x is congruent to 9 mod 10. Now we're working backwards. We know the index is 9 and we want to figure out what x is. So if the index is 9, we see that x is congruent to 6. And then we return to mod 11. So x congruent to 6 is the solution to that problem. In this problem, we're given that 2 is a primitive root mod 13 and asked to again fill in the table of indices and then solve the corresponding congruence. So the first thing you need to do is calculate the powers of 2 mod 13 all the way up to phi of 13 or 12. So 2 to the first, 
2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the 4th is 16, which reduces to 3, 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 to the 4th, so 2 times 3 is 6, 2 to the 6th is 2 times 2 to the 5th, so 2 times 6, which is 12, 2 to the 7th is 2 times 12, which is 24, so mod 13, that reduces to 11. 2 to the 8th is 2 times 2 to the 7th, so 2 times 11 is 22, mod 13, so 22 mod 13 is 9. 2 to the 9th is going to be 2 times 2 to the 8th, so 2 times 9 is 18, reduces to 5. 2 to the 10th is 2 times 5, or 10. 2 to the 11th is 2 times 10, or 20, reduces to 7 mod 13. And finally, 2 to the 12th is going to be 2 times 2 to the 11th, so 2 times 7 is 14, reduces to 1 mod 13. So now we can fill in the table of indices. So we know the index of 2 is 1, the index of 4 is 2, because again it's the power that we raised 2 to to get 4, the index of 8 is 3, the index of 3 is 4, the index of 6 is 5, the index of 12 is 6, the index of 11 is the power we raised 2 to to get 11, which is 7. The index of 9 is the power we raised 2 to to get 9, and that's 8. The index of 5 is 9. The index of 10 is 10. The index of 7 is 11. And the index of 1 is 12. We're now ready to solve the congruence. 5x to the 5th is congruent to 3 mod 13. So the first thing we're going to do is take the index of both sides. And again, remember the mod is phi of 13, or 12. And then the index of 5 plus 5 times the index of x is congruent to the index of 3, mod 12. We can look up the index of 5, and that is 9. And we look up the index of 3, and that's 4. So we can subtract 9 from both sides of the congruence. So 4 minus 9 is negative 5, which is the same as 7 mod 12. We can add 12 to it. Now we want to find the inverse of 5 mod 12. So we know 1 is congruent to 13, congruent to 25. So 5 is its own inverse mod 12. Multiply both sides of the congruence by 5. And we get the index of x is 35 mod 12. If you reduce that, we've got the index of x is congruent to 11 mod 12. So the index is 11. We want to figure out what x is. So now we're going backwards in the table. We know the index is 11. We want to figure out what x is. So x is congruent to 7 mod 13. And that's the solution to that problem. For this problem, we want to solve a congruence mod 7 and fill in the table with the index of a with primitive root 3. So I've already calculated the powers of 3 mod 7. Confident that you can do that. And we're going to use those to fill in the table. So the index of 3 is the power that I raise 3 to to get 3, which is 1. The index of 
2 is the power that I raised 3 to to get to, which is 2. The index of 6 is the power that I raised 3 to to get 6, which is 3. The index of 4 is 4. The index of 5 is 5. And finally, the index of 1 is 6. So I'm going to use those values to solve the congruence. 3x congruent to 5 mod 7. Take the index of both sides, and the mod becomes mod 6, p of 7. Using the properties of indices, I've got x times the index of 3 is congruent to the index of 5, mod 6. We can look up those values in the table. The index of 3 is 1, so I've just got x congruent to the index of 5, which turns out to be 5, mod 6. And that is the solution. X is congruent to 5, mod 6. It was a little bit different than the previous one because the X was in the exponent. We didn't have to look up an index of X value in the table.